Hello YouTube humans. Today's video is sponsored by Peeps, and not only regular Peeps, True Scrape Peeps. Whoa, we've got our own brand of Peeps now? How'd you hook that up? Are those available in the store? No. Are they available anywhere? No. Not available anywhere, huh? No. Wow, what makes them different with True Scrape? Are the eyes bigger? Yeah. Okay. Um, I also like to, we have a little product showcase going on here today. Um, I'd like to thank Madeline. She cut my hair. This is my Corona cut. Um, there's another video that you'll see it happening live. We literally went to Waltucky tonight and braved the Corona. Um, and we bought these. There was Andy's Ultra Clip. Yeah, we'd like to thank um, Andis or Andes. And they're not just the regular, they're Ultra Clip clippers. Not regular, Ultra Clip. But anyway, so she gave me her, my first Corona haircut tonight with these bad boys. There's a video of that. It's pretty long, um, but she did go a little, a little bit thin on the eyebrows. Yeah. But you know, if you've seen Pink Floyd, the Wall, the movie, <laughs> then you know she hasn't. But anyway, they're kind of in line with that, I think. Um, but anyway, um, I wish it was sponsored by Red Bull. But we're today we're going to go into something that I just received a couple days ago. We're going to do a little open box. Um, CM Components does rear seat deletes for. S197s, I think they do SN95s, S550s, um, a lot of different rear seat deletes, and I'm going to open it up and check it out and see what it's like. They're about 125 bucks through Team Beefcake or Lethal Performance, and a couple other places sell them as well. Um, and then I think that shipping is $20 shipping, you know, because it's obviously a pretty big item. Um, but I've heard pretty good things about them, so we're going to see what we, what we see and what we think um, about this. Where did that knife go? I thought I had a knife somewhere. Um, entertaining mound, say something while. Oh, tell them about, uh, oh, yeah. About, yeah. So, the highlights of the day we put a new center console lid on top on our truck, our silver grayish truck, and also my tooth came out. Yeah, tell them about my the first tooth. molar. First we molar today. In a, Where was that? Ford, um, Ford. Ford, Don Meyer Ford parking yeah, lot. Don Ford parking, parking lot. I thought I chipped my tooth off because I was eating a candy cane, and then I felt around to see if I chipped it off, and it just came out. Is this is this like April? Why are you eating candy cane in April? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so CM component components, and I just got the regular one. They make a bunch of different ones that are like LED lights, and they have the Coyote logos and. You can get them to say all sorts of custom stuff. Oh, wow, this is a lot, a lot like thicker and nicer right out of the box than I thought it was going to be. Um, this feels pretty substantial. I thought, oh, look at that. It's not flimsy or anything like that. Wow, it's packed all nice. Um, scoot over here so we can get this in here. That looks like it's what? Uh, oh, wow, this even has, it's got a, uh, let me get the knife again. Um, I'll get it. This is either super packing or very dull knife here. Hold on there, Hot Rod. Okay. Oh wow, see this this has billet, those are these are like the, the hood, almost like those the, the hood pins. Um, you know, for the sides of the cars nowadays, they have the little the little billet things that let you pop the your front bumper cover, rear bumper cover off. Um, these are these are built aluminum. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive for a, a rear seat delete. The um, fabric is very nice. What's that? Oh, that's the back parts. Okay, so this is the the back parts of the fasteners for these. Um, I'm guessing you're going to put these into the, to the seat structure on the back of the car, and then you, then you pop it in, and it locks itself in that way. It's got the little flap down here that covers up the crack where the seat belts and stuff used to be. And this is the bottom piece um, that goes down, you know, where you used to sit. Basically, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's you know it's obviously plywood construction. Looks like it's some pretty decent wood there, and it's, uh, looks like it's CNC cut. Um, yeah, the fit and finish is nice. Um, and geez, I think the I want to say these things are like, the ones I bought for front, my front bumper cover. I want to say those things were like thirty bucks or something. So this whole thing is is uh, one hundred twenty five dollars, you know, plus twenty twenty dollar shipping or so so you're talking 145 150 bucks um yeah um you can't beat that so thumbs up to cm components for that um 
that's about all we've got. Um, if you want to watch our other video, the long one where she cut my cut my hair, my first Corona cut, and I, sorry we haven't really done videos. We we hope to have done a lot of videos now. A um, little status update on Project Dragula. The parts are here. I've got tons of parts everywhere. We'll get into that later when we start doing some installs. Roll cage um, is still being. Yeah, the roll cage is not quite done yet. Um, I've t I've received some pictures of the roll cage. Maybe I can put a couple of them on there. Um, so I'm hoping to get the car back in another day, maybe a week. Uh, then we've got the engine built. We've got a power adder, which we'll get to, which what what that is later. Um, this might give you a little hint right here as to what that is um, and we've got uh, a lot of other stuff that we're gonna we're gonna roll out later so um, hang in there everybody um, true street out GoPro turn off GoPro stop recording